हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नोमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द रीज़न वाई फोटोसिंथिस अकर ओनली इन विजिबल लाइट देर इज़ ए ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ सोलर रेडिएशन बट फोटो सिंथिसिस इज लिमिटेड टू विजिबल लाइट वेव लेंथ स्पेक्ट्रम फोर हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर टू सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर and in infrared region and in ultraviolet region photosynthesis does not occur so what is the reason that to whole spectrum of photo of this solar radiation does not cause photosynthesis only a small portion is responsible for photosynthesis and this small portion is visible light so what is the reason we will discuss here actually the solar radiation uh is electromagnetic uh, radiation and this radiation is energy and this energy is emitted in the form of electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation means radiation which consists both the properties electric properties as well as magnetic properties and if we talk about the electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation is a wide range and narrow wavelength is cosmic ray then if we talk about in increasing wavelength the least is cosmic ray then gamma ray then x rays then ultraviolet then visible light then microwave then radio wave but in case of solar radiation uh, in general there are three types of electromagnetic radiation ultraviolet radiation visible light which is sensed by our eyes and then infrared so these are three otherwise if we talk about em radiation em radiation is broad spectrum uh, starting from uh, cosmic rays which are of least wavelength to the radio waves which are of the highest wavelength but in case of solar radiation we can categorize it in three part and long wave radiation uh, in case of solar uh, sunlight or we can say solar energy is the uh, negligible so this uv uh, proportion is about uh, uh, 4% in general maybe 6% but in general it is 4% and visible light which is reaching on the earth actually it is on the earth so which it which is reaching on the earth then because uh, during the uh, this pathway some is absorbed some radiation is absorbed some is reflected some is scattered and only about 45 to 48% reach on the earth and uh, depending upon the cloudiness depending upon the dust particle which are responsible for uh, scattering and clouds which are responsible for you know, the reflection then atmosphere which is responsible for absorption so in this process from sun to the earth absorption scattering reflection is there and only 40 to 48% reach on the earth and out of this total radiation out of this total 4% if we talk about it is suppose 100% then 4% is about ultraviolet and visible light is about 45 to uh, you know, 44% or 42% or 46% and infrared is about 52 to 56% so uh, it may be of 40 to 46% range so it is the range or it is about 4 to 6% and maybe up to 8% depending upon the uh, uh, atmospheric condition whether it is uh, clear or dust or pollutant etc so this is the in general range so this is the spectrum of solar radiation which is reaching on the earth means intercepted by leaves but this ultraviolet is not involved in photosynthesis only this is involved in photosynthesis so what is the reason that only this part is involved in photosynthesis the reason is that if we look into the wavelength uh, wavelength of this radiation so wavelength of this radiation is about uh, 3 to 400 nanometer in case of ultraviolet and visible light is 400 to 700 nanometer and infrared is more than 700 nanometer and maybe about 4000 nanometer 
so we can uh, write at as more than 700 nanometer so this is the general range and this wavelength if we now we talk the uh, about the energy actually energy uh, of this radiation is considered in the form of quantum or photon it is uh, considered that this light is consist of very small energy packets which are known as photon so photon are responsible for energy and this photon or quantum are responsible for photosynthesis because the main role of this photon is to excite the electron from the chlorophyll so excitation uh, is the main process in which photon are involved so photon are considered very small packets of energy and the energy of this photon is decided by e is equal to h mu where e is the energy of photon h is Planck constant and mu is the frequency and frequency is inversely related to wavelength if wavelength is more then frequency is less and if wavelength is less then frequency is high so if we talk about the frequency then frequency wise frequency of this it, it is the a lowest wavelength so it means frequency is highest so frequency and wavelength are inversely related so frequency is of uh, uv light then visible light i am writing it as a vl then infrared i am writing it as a ir so it means energy will be in the same uv light ultraviolet light would have most energy followed by visible light VL and the least energy in infrared and this energy is responsible for photosynthesis means excitation of electron means excitation of chlorophyll molecule so it means if energy is more there will be more excitation and would be more photosynthesis but it is not like that because energy is highest maximum energy and energy is so much that uv light have so energy that it destroy the cell it destroy the tissue so it is harmful because of its high energy content so uv radiation is harmful because of its high energy content and this energy is not utilized in photosynthesis rather it is uh, involved in destroying the cell structure so uv radiation is harmful it is not beneficial while on the other hand infrared has minimum energy minimum energy in all these three so energy level is so low that it is not sufficient to excite the chlorophyll so energy level is low so that's why it is not involved in photosynthesis so energy level of visible light is sufficient and involved in excitation of chlorophyll molecule and to start the photosynthesis that's why visible light is only involved in photosynthesis so it means whole solar radiation is not involved in photosynthesis only a small portion that is visible light so now it would be clear why uh, there is so that whole spectrum is not uh, involved in photosynthesis because some portion that is uv radiation contains so much energy that it destroys whole cell structure because of high energy content so it is not involved in photosynthesis while the on the other hand in, in infrared region energy level is low because of more wavelength more wavelength means less frequency less frequency means less energy so energy level of infrared is low and not sufficient to start the photosynthesis so why there is so that uv light have more frequency uh, more energy because of more frequency because of more frequency due to narrow wavelength or, or less wavelength so this is the reason that only visible light is responsible for photosynthesis but uh, this visible light if we look into the uh, spectrum wavelength spectrum of visible light so visible light is consists of seven colors vivgyor violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red and this is starting from wavelength 400 nanometer to uh, it is about 750 nanometer but considered about 700 nanometer 
So this is the whole spectrum of visible light and this all seven colors make white color. So visible light, this spectrum is necessary for the photosynthesis. But in this spectrum, this green color is not involved in photosynthesis. Least photosynthesis, we can say minimum photosynthesis because this green color is reflected by chlorophyll molecule. Suppose this is chlorophyll molecule and incident light is there, then green color is reflected. It look green color because green light is reflected. Any substance look in that color which is reflected. A green color is seen green because it reflect the green color. Similarly, a red body is seen red because it reflect red color. Since it reflect green color. So green light is not absorbed by chlorophyll molecule because it is not absorbed reflected. So not involved in photosynthesis. So this is the reason that chlorophyll molecule looks green because it reflect the green color. So it means this violet, indigo, blue and red. These are involved in photosynthesis synthesis effectively but whole spectrum is necessary for the maximum photosynthesis if we talk into single component of this spectrum then energy level energy level because wavelength is narrow so energy level is decreasing towards this direction energy level is decreasing because wavelength is increasing wavelength is increasing it means Frequency is reducing, so energy decreasing means violet has more energy as compared to indigo. Indigo has more energy compared to blue. Blue has more energy than green. Similarly, red has low energy and energy is required for photosynthesis. But so it seems that this blue color, which has more energy compared to red, would have more photosynthesis. But it is not like that because if we compare this blue and red, blue and red, then blue have more energy and it excites electrons so much that it lost its energy, it goes to higher orbit. So maximum energy is lost in, excite, uh, in higher orbit uh, electron. But in case of red, energy is properly utilized in excitation of electron. So this is the reason that here loss of energy because electron goes into very higher orbit and but in it remain in normal orbit. So this is the reason that red light has more photosynthesis than blue and blue has more photosynthesis than green. So now here blue has more energy but not as uh, more photosynthesis compared to red. If we talk uh, about UV light and visible light, UV light has more energy, but this energy is so much that it destroys cell. That's why not involved in photosynthesis, only visible light is involved. And in visible light, there are seven colors. And out of these seven colors, red has the maximum efficiency for photosynthesis. Blue uh, have more energy and uh, it, electron lose its energy. So this is the a trend of photosynthesis. Now it would be clear why only visible light is involved in photosynthesis. So in general, there are three component of solar radiation, UV light, which has very high energy, then visible light, then infrared. Or infrared has low energy level and energy is not sufficient for the electron excitation from the chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is not active in infrared. While on the other hand, UV light, energy is too much that it destroys the cell structure. So both light are not involved in photosynthesis. Only visible light is involved in photosynthesis. And if we talk about the monochromatic light, single uh, color light, then red light has the highest photosynthesis, followed by blue light and the least by green light. But for overall photosynthesis, all seven colors are required. So it means visible light, complete spectrum of visible light is required for the maximum photosynthesis.
But if we talk monochromatic light, only single light, then red is more efficient than blue. So this was about the visible light spectrum and uh, their involvement in photosynthesis. Now it would be clear why only visible light is responsible for photosynthesis. Why not ultraviolet and infrared? Thank you very much.